Hey there, it's Boots Owen here. This video is about a toilet, but it's no ordinary toilet. Up here in the wall is a sink with no taps. So if I flush this toilet, the water that's filling the cistern goes through the sink before the cistern. So let me show you how it works. Underneath the cistern lid, I've modified the plumbing so the water that would normally just flow straight into the cistern comes up through this little plastic pipe into the wall, round through the wall, up to this tap and it just comes out and you can't stop it. Then it flows down through a drain, through a waste, back into the wall, back around and out through this pipe here, down through this piece of plastic, you can just see it flowing there and it fills the cistern and as the cistern fills up It'll, it'll move this little uh, float valve and it'll stop it. And that's just a standard float valve from, from a toilet. It's a float valve just like one of these. The water comes up from the bottom and then through the valve here and then it comes out over the top through this blue bit and then down through this bag or sleeve. And this one here has been taken apart and so you can see the water just comes out of this. So you just need a way of pushing the pipe in there and I use 10 mil plumbing pipe and it turns out that if you cut the top off this you can push 10 mil plumbing pipe straight in. So that's all I've done and it's just a push fit and it seems to work adequately. It's been working like this for about a month now, no issues. If it does leak, it just leaks into the toilet so it doesn't really matter. If the flush side of it is just completely normal. It's all been replaced when I installed it because it was a used toilet. But. Uh, it all works the same as ever. The plumbing is just standard waste fittings for a basin, so 32 mil plastic waste and 10 mil plumbing pipe. I think it steps up to a half inch, or not a half inch, but a 13 mil size inside the wall. This is just a standard wall mounted tap fitting. You can buy these on the internet, on Amazon or eBay. I'll put a link below to Amazon for these. They're a pretty standard piece of kit. They're very cheap as well. I think it's just a small wash hand basin. I uh, blanked out the tap holes with these blanking plates. They're brass. And that's it stopped there, so it just went to a bit of a thud. Tap stops. And the water continues to flow down, but you can see this float valve here has now risen up. And the water stops. It's as simple as that. It really wasn't very much to it. I've watched other videos on YouTube how to make one where there's a concrete sink and you make this concrete sink from scratch that's molded to the top of the toilet and so you just put a pipe straight up and over and out and then it flows straight back through a hole in the bottom that works fine but uh you always have to reach over the toilet to do that and i've seen similar ones to that in japan that's where this idea came from and i think you can get special valves on the internet for it as well and special cisterns in the usa and stuff like that that just have it built in but I've never seen one of these for sale in the UK, so I thought I'd make it myself. In terms of the parts, you're gonna to have to buy a tap for your basin anyways, so you know, you're know you gonna to have to deal with that. Um, you're gonna to have to buy some plumbing bits for in behind, but they're relatively cheap and you need the float, you need the float valve anyway. Uh, so what happens then? We flush it, clean water comes up from the wall, through the valve, through this pipe, into the wall, over to this pipe and down, and then you've washed your hands in it. And so it goes into the wall through the waste, around through the wall and back out through that big white pipe there. There's the potential that this will get all clogged up with dirty soapy water if I use soap washing my hands. Um, and the other thing is it'll always be cold. It'll always be cold because it's only a cold tap. There's only a cold fill to the toilet. And that's a, a pain I'll just have to suffer. And then if I zoom across over to here, I have a big basin with hot water and cold water. So if I really wanted hot water to wash my hands again, I could. You've seen that this took, what, the first minute to, um, to fill? So there's always going to be adequate water there for washing your hands. But I think it's a really good eco-friendly eco, eco water saving idea. Because uh, most of the time you'll, you'll want to wash your hands after using the toilet. And 
this kind of takes care of it, you know? And it, as well as that, it, it's there for you, you know? You don't even have to think about it. It's, it's hygienic insofar as you don't have to touch anything apart from the toilet handle. I'm not sure why these aren't everywhere because this water will always be put into the cistern clean in, th in this part of the world. Uh, you could have recirculation systems and stuff using rainwater for cisterns. In that case, you maybe don't want to wash your hands with it. As long as you've got clean water coming in, why not use it to wash your hands? So, there you go. That's my eco-friendly hand wash toilet. I'm going to struggle to find a name for this to make it searchable for YouTube. But there you go. Any questions or comments, leave them below. Or if you know where to buy these things, or if you've got any hints or tips, or if you've done this and you've got other videos, post a link in the comments below. Hope you like this idea. Thanks for watching. See you later.